is the day. I am shaving my head. So my friend's here to pick me up. We're gonna go to her place and she's gonna help uh, record it. All right, so I am shaving my head today and I am starting, all of this is coming off. So I'm going to start with um, trimming it first because the clippers that I'm using are really small and they're not actually made for shaving your whole head, but that's what I had, so. <laughs> okay, I cannot see what I'm doing, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm just going to, holy shit. I'm like, I already am like, shit, I look good. <laughs> So this is my hair, little bit of hair. I still have a little bit of hair and I'm loving it. I love having my head shaved. I feel like I look so good. It's easier to manage. It feels good to make this change and it feels good to challenge myself um, in this way. Whenever I do kind of drastic things with my hair, it's uh, it's always, there's always like a little bit of a challenge there because as a, as a black woman, um, our hair is very important. Our hair is part of our expression. It can be part of, um, our identity, how we show up in the world. And, um, that's a case for a lot of people, but for black women in particular, I feel, especially in America, there is a lot of chatter and dialogue about our appearance and our hair. Black people a lot of times get a lot of shame because of their hair. We get actually denied opportunities because of our hair. Um, for wearing our hair natural, we get called all kinds of names. Um, you know, little girls and boys get called all kinds of things because of their natural hair. Because the standard in this country is Anglo beauty standards. And so for me, uh, when I first went natural, and I used to have a relaxer and I was chasing the white ideal of beauty, which obviously was never gonna happen because I'm black. Um, but when I first cut out the relaxer and I had really short hair and there was my curls, that for me, it took, that for me was an act of courage because I decided to embrace myself and to stop chasing these um, white idyllic beauty standards. Last summer when I uh, shaved the sides, which is how I used to have my hair, had it bleached, I had rose gold. The rose gold only lasted a few weeks because I went to Texas and it came out in the sun. Uh, but even that, like there was like, afterwards there was a little bit of nerves. Like what are people gonna say? Um, even though I really liked it and, but there was still kind of like that societal um, pressure and conditioning. And the same thing was with this uh, a week and a half ago is when I started like really seriously thinking about it. I think within two days I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And part of that was because of the, the thoughts that were coming up in my head. Will I still be feminine? Um, will I still be appealing to men? Like things that like I hate to even admit came into my head because those are not even things that are really how I feel. 
Um, like my idea of feminine doesn't even match everybody else's idea of feminine or the typical idea of feminine. When those thoughts were coming into my head, the next question is, but why does that matter? But whose idea of feminine am I chasing? But why do I care what men think? Having those thoughts, I knew that like, oh, this is going to be a powerful thing for me because just shaving off my hair is going to be me challenging those patriarchal ideas that are still apparently creeping up in my brain um, and decolonizing my hair and decolonizing black and uh, Latina beauty standards because I am also Afro Latina. So for me, this is, it's an act of liberation. It's an act of freedom. It's a, it's a big fuck you to the patriarchy. And it's another way of me stepping into my power and my power of self-expression and my power to have, you know, authority and license over my body and how I show up in the world. And that feels really fucking juicy and awesome. Whatever it is for you that you can express yourself more fully, whatever, wherever it is that you can kind of challenge the norm, challenge the status quo, to challenge the the thoughts and the internalized conditionings in your head, I challenge you to break those. I challenge you to, to face them, to step up, to take some kind of action that helps you to break those down. Because when you do, that is you stepping in your power. And that action is something that liberates you. It liberates you to show up more authentically in the world. It liberates you to show up more fully as who you are. And it liberates you to fully express and that carries over into your creativity as well. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when I do more videos and live streams for creatives of color. And you can hit the bell as well so that you get notified. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video with my shaved head that will be like this for a while.